You see, the thing about going into hotels and eating off of people's room service dishes is that if you do it any other time than when you're drunk, you're looked at like a bear who just came into the town to eat out of garbage cans. So, I mean, y you gotta do it drunk, because then it's just like, get out of here, scamp, go find your home. See so, yeah, a playlist. So I reached out on Twitter asking for video topics, and I got a response. What did it say? It said, all of my friends hate me, what do I do? I don't gotta memorize this stuff, that's why we have computers. As someone who feels like they might be an expert in this subject, I got a few tips for you. You see, the weird thing about Friends Forever bracelets is that sometimes they're lie bracelets. Bracelets that are built on lies. And that's okay. You see, everybody is constantly growing and changing, and the things that they like and don't like are always changing, so... It's not weird to think that sometimes people might drift apart. If you think that your friends might hate you, you might want to look up what the definition of friends is. Because it isn't that. Imagine if the show Friends was just about six people who never talked to each other. That would be a weird show. It would be such a crappy show if they all just sat silently in that coffee house in a grump. If people who you think are your friends don't want to talk to you or hang out with you for whatever stupid reason, then they're not worth your time. That's just kind of how it works. If people aren't willing to talk to you, then why bother? I mean, there's plenty of other people who like Sherlock and I don't know, Doctor Who, or the areolas, Supernatural, whatever it is that you're, at and you're into. The way I see it, if you're trying to keep people around who don't care for you, it's kind of like never changing your underwear, but always eating bean burritos. It's just not that great of an idea. If you're in a situation where you think somebody might not like you, but you still want to be friends, you could do one of three things. One, you can cut their head off. That might make it pretty hard to be friends, though. Two, you can talk to them, and maybe you'll find out that there's nothing wrong and people are just weird, which is how it goes most of the time. Or three, just don't worry about it and see if they end up talking to you. And if they don't end up talking to you, well, then they're not that great of a friend anyway. Just look at it this way. Uh, you know, I actually don't, because th this doesn't really help. I guess if there's one thing to take away from this whole thing is that well, everybody is gonna suck for a little bit at some point. That's just the way people are. Don't worry about it. At moments like this, just think to yourself, you know, what would Monica do? And always remember that Friends was an awesome TV show and we're glad that it's back on Netflix. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just been watching Friends too much. And when you watch Friends too much, there comes a point where you just start relating everything to Friends. And I'm at that point. Uh, so anyway. My name is Matt and I make videos every Tuesday and Friday right here on this YouTube channel. If you liked what you saw, you should click subscribe because it's just the same garbage every week. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye. Um, even though there is a picture of a kitty cat on this, I would consider it to be my chalice of evil. Um, but instead of my, my usual orphan tears, which is my go-to beverage, I'm, I'm just drinking, you know, an organic cold 911 tea. Uh, it's, it's probably good for you.